In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of my business, warehouse, office, workspace. As you guys keep asking, right into it, I'm gonna show you guys where I keep my inventory. I'm just gonna give you guys a little rundown of my workflow, my inventory management system, where I do my listings, how I take my pictures, you know, all good. Welcome back, welcome back guys to all my returning subscribers. Thanks for tuning in for another video. I know it's been a while. I have had a lot of things going on in my life. Some things awesome, some things not so awesome, but I know that hey, in the end, at the end of the day, it all works together for the good. I'm a firm believer that everything does happen for a reason. And you know, even if we do get in the way of what's what's best for us, I think that uh, you know as long as we keep the faith, we focus and keep our eye on the prize and try to always do what's right, that God is gonna lead us ultimately to our greatest life. I do appreciate all the emails, everyone that reached out. Thanks a lot, guys. That really means a lot to me uh, to know that you guys. If you guys have not already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you are looking to work from home, if you wanna be your own boss buying and reselling on eBay, then you are in the right spot. Go ahead and sign up right now, guys. I have over 100 plus videos on how you can do just that. Now, without further ado, guys, let's get right into the video today. is right outside my back door take a little stroll there and right there is my garage it's a three-car garage actually and step in here guys and I'll show you, uh, you know, what we have going on as you can see I sell lots of blazers sport coats jackets uh, leather jackets as you can see there I have a ton of them uh, my boat also occupies the same space as my warehouse, which you call a portion of my warehouse anyways. And this is a portion, as I said, this does not cover my entire inventory. Uh, this is just a small portion that sits in my garage, uh, stays close to me, uh, you know, a lot of valuable items. Now you can see here, these are my storage boxes. They are labeled uh, with letters. And basically what that does is as I list an item, I will put the letter and you know if the box can, you know, if it contains that item and will be stored inside there, it makes it very easy to find. Uh, there are boots, a lot of boots and shoes there. We keep those in the garage as well. Uh, some of them, as you can see. There's a nice pair of, uh, looks like Allen Edmonds, another pair of Allen Edmonds. Um, and there's a little overshot of a uh, portion of it. Back inside the house, upstairs. There's a nice pair of 80s Nikes. Uh, looks like a pair of Shell Cordovans, definitely. Uh, got a couple of vintage items. There's some old school. Those are actually not alligator skin, guys. Those are sea turtle. Sea turtle is illegal to list, so as you can see there it's sitting. And also as you can see my office is uh, somewhat under construction at this phase. I uh, apologize, I was trying to get it in order, but I uh, figured hey, what the heck better to shoot the video and get it done for you guys. As you can see here, a ton of my cleaning supplies, uh, you know, mink oils, different types of conditioners, leather for leathers and uh, you know, saddle soap. I have various uh, knives and scissors. You know, basically everything you can imagine. Uh, horsehair brushes.
uh, keeping track of my hanging stuff, guys, I just put a number on the hanger itself, and that number it corresponds with the item auction or the you know description section. I just put it in there, so it makes it very, very simple, easy to find. For those of you who don't know, that is a Ferrari leather jacket. There we have some vintage Air Jordans. Those are real vintage. There looks like some Sambas there by Adidas, some old school Converse, and a pair of Gucci on the right there, pink. And I also saw a vintage Alf doll. Lots of uh, various items here, as you can see. I have some old belts, <clears throat> some new belts, some old purses, block type, whatever these wooden type purses are, as you can see there. Some exotic skin leather belts, there's an elephant skin there, some boots, some exotic boots. And right outside uh, my office there, right around the corner, as you can see, is another uh, bedroom that I use for storage as well. Another portion of my inventory, a lot of hanging items, shirts, some jackets, I have some neckties in there, as you can see in my chair. If you guys like this video and it was anything in it that helped you then make sure you go down and drop in the comment section and let me know what helped you and if it didn't help you then let me know what kind of video would help you out and I will get that out to you guys uh, and if you haven't already and you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe right now so that you can receive my latest and greatest upcoming videos if you want to learn how to work from home be your own boss buying and reselling on eBay Thanks for tuning in, guys. This has been Phil Jones, the king of thrift, with another video to help you guys crush it on eBay. And until my next one, you guys be good.